Well, made it eight days and one more latch went out. This time it's the driver's door. So again, you have to replace it, otherwise you can't lock the car. Looks like another Land Rover latch, which is quite a bit going on there. Mm, nice where you have a subwoofer in every door. I'm gonna take it apart and do it again. So one thing I found very interesting is they put this little strap in here and that's designed to pull the window motor up against the plastic so you can put the bolt in. So kind of a strange thing but it works. Which isn't even close to that. The bolt's over here. The one bolt that you have to make sure you take out so you don't Pull and pry on the window motor and regulator when you take it apart. And that is stuck pretty good when you get it loose, so you got to pry on it to get it to break the seal loose. Then you have to take the latch and the handle out as an assembly, take it apart, build it, and put it all back in at one. Door handle has to come off. Like they built the vehicle around the latch. And there's our little latch. Wraps around and goes to the handle assembly. Personally, I thought it was easier to get everything out and unplug these connectors while it was hanging. Because it's really hard to get to inside the door. As you can see, it's everything. And you have to disassemble all this and put the cables in, connect the linkage and put it all back together. And there you go, on the bench. Little apart. As you can see, this is not covered. I'm going to take all this apart, move all this over into the new one, cover it back up, and then put the whole thing back in the door. Covers off. And just move the linkage over. We're almost there. Get the three out for that one. Put the long one on. Don't put it on the big hole, put it on the little hole. This one you have to turn it about 90 degrees and it comes out. This one's pretty self-explanatory. And ready to go back in the vehicle. Covers up. Hold apart. So this is the little switch that turns on the LED light on your door lock switch. So if you have a problem with your Land Rover and it doesn't unlock and lock, and it's the actuator, if you push the unlock and lock button on all the doors, the one that the LED light does not turn on is the bad latch, but you're also gonna find out it's still, you know, it's also not locking the door. And it'll go back in. You always wanna make sure you put the latch in, or the bolt in the latch last. Because if you try to put the bolts in first, that handle is going to be difficult to get in from the uh, from the top. You need that slack in the cables. And just put it all back together, and then everything works again. So the joys of Land Rover ownership. You slide the latch back in first, and the bolt in just turned out because there's a slot there. And then make sure you plug it back in. It goes inside, reaches over, actually pretty easy to put back in.